Hi everyone, it's Renee. Welcome to this unbaking video. Today I'm going to be working with this elephant ear or palm ear cookies. I don't really know how to pronounce that word, but this is what they look like. For the second ingredient, I'm just going to be using white candy melts, then dark chocolate. At the moment, I am obsessed with this tipless piping bag, so I'm just going to be using a few of them. And then I'm just going to be working with some sprinkles. The ones on the right, I'm just going to use them all. And the ones on the left, I'm just going to pick the white ones because I need white big sprinkles. So that's what I'm just going to be using. I'm working with store-bought cookies, so I don't have the recipe, but I'm just going to cover them with my melted chocolate on the top. I do... Uh, melt my chocolate using the double boiler method and this is tempered so just follow the instructions that come on the back of my package with a spoon I'm just going to uh, cover the top of my cookie then I'm going to be taking my big sprinkles the white ones and I'm just going to place them in a polka dot pattern and to do this you can do this by hand just placing your uh, sprinkles or you can use a tweezer that you can pretty much get anywhere they are pretty affordable and just use it uh, for baking that's what I do so those are the two methods that I use when they are big enough and when I need them in a specific place now that's it for the first one for the second one I'm going to just kind of like simulate that the cookie was dipped in chocolate I'm not going to actually dip it because because of the nature of this cookie they they end up being a mess if you dip them into the bowl where you have the rest of your chocolate just make sure you cover like the top part and the edges so it looks like it was actually dipped this one is pretty simple but kind of effective i think just drizzle some white chocolate on the top and then i'm going to be taking a bare cookie that doesn't have anything on the top and i'm just going to drizzle some chocolate using my tipless piping bag i made a really tiny hole in there and i just went across it to make it look like a cross right before it dries so like your chocolate sets make sure you remove it from there because otherwise the whole thing is going to uh, dry into one piece so just make sure you remove it with a knife or just a spatula some of the cookies uh, have like this burnt edges on them doesn't mean they are bad it just that happens when you bake stuff sometimes but just make sure you pick the kind of like we'd say the ugly ones to just cover the top all the top and that's what i'm doing in this one with my candy melts and at this point i just uh, was getting familiar with this candy melt thing they it dries super fast so just work as fast as you can because it's going to set faster than working with with dark chocolate for instance in this one i did the same effect of um you know dipped cookie in some chocolate but then i'm just going to be placing some uh, stripes with my dark chocolate first i'm going to draw the lines in there and then i'm just going to fill those lines just make sure they are nice and thick lines once I have done that, I'm just going to go with my toothpick and just arrange the chocolate as I want it to dry before it sets. In this cookie, I'm just going to be placing some hearts with dark chocolate. You just simply add a dot and then drag it towards the middle part, kind of like with an angle, and then the other side is going to be pretty much the same. The dark chocolate in this case is on the bottom and my hearts are white for the drizzled cookie i'm just going to go with my white candy melts and my tipless piping bag and i'm just going to write the word love in it you can write whatever you want and pretty much it's up to you um what kind of like type of font you go for and then this one has like the dark chocolate background then some white stripes on the top and then sprinkle with some color sprinkles and this is pretty much the idea that I wanted to share. Taste-wise, they are really good. This is an, a great option if you celebrate this day. And remember, it doesn't have to be for only for this and day. You can um, enjoy them all year round. And Valentine's doesn't mean only having a partner and just um, a date. You can, you know, share them and enjoy them with anyone that you love, family, friends, and even only to yourself. This is a special treat that I wanted to share with you. Let me know if you like them, if you think they are cute. If you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up it helps a lot don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share it so more people can watch it thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you later bye guys